everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Mm. Mm. I am doing well, my soul. So let's keep it going, shall we? A little special treat. Get right into the read. What is it that the collective needs to know at this time about the energies around you? What does the collective need to know? Nine of Swords in the upright. Somebody's in despair. Somebody's worried. They could be having nightmares, not able to sleep. What can be a challenge to that? Oh, I got several fell out. The challenge is <clears throat> they are heartbroken over a loss, over a divorce. and um, a celebration over a new marriage, which brings forward <clears throat> a renewal and um, planning for the future. the subconscious spirit. Oh gosh, <laughs> doesn't want to be held. <laughs> the lovers. Somebody is so upset over having lost someone and that someone entering a new union. In the recent past, the Knight of Swords in the upright, somebody being brave, trying to defend their beliefs, acting fast with the intention and expectation of calmer waters, moving to calmer waters. But this relationship, the, yeah, this relationship is ending. It's like this um, Knight of Swords could be the new, um, the new partner. And he's here in the recent past, like rushing in, and he's like, no, we're, we're moving on. We're transitioning. We're moving to calmer waters. He's like, we're out of here. Yeah, 
in the near future. There's a tower for somebody. This leaves um, them in chaos. The loss of you who could potentially have been the foundation, um, which may not have been your um, intended role. But anyway, there's a tar. And the lens that everybody's looking through. Is that, um, wow, we got an Eight of Swords and a Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's in victim mentality, and, and this is the destiny. This is their destiny. Imprisonment, uh, restriction. Losing you is a bad deal. In the environment. We've got the Page of Wands in reverse. So this is bad news for somebody. They're not stable. They have a lack of direction. They don't know which way to turn. Hopes and fears. Adaptability, negotiation, balancing, hopes, hopes and fears, trying to bring balance to this because it looks like um, with, with this marriage, this new celebration, this new marriage with these lovers, this change for this person. It throws them in a, a way off balance. Apparently, you were the one that was holding everything in check. And when you decided to leave, somebody was left with their with their portion, which was <laughs> extremely out of balance. And the results, what's the outcome? Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to be challenged. They're going to need to persevere through a ten of wands. It could very well have been that shit that you had been managing. You may have been the one managing this, and now that you're not there to manage it, they have to manage it on their own. Wow. I recommend being single to everybody. I feel that it's really important to learn to manage your own shit. It's one of those necessities in life. Ten of Swords. Wow. 
they're going to have to go through what they forced you to go through. There's a ten of war, ten of ten of swords, and um, then there's the nine of wands. So they're going to have to persevere through um, really harsh trials and tests of faith. They're going to have to dig down into themselves to discover what it is that they have inside of them that will help them persevere. Especially if they're dealing with betrayal and trickery and people stealing their shit all the time. Um, I'm just going to let you see, see it, um, very quickly. A king of swords <clears throat> and a queen of swords could be suffering a financial loss. I got I should maybe not read these. It's You know when you've had a life of suffering and then and then you see and then you see this happening in the cards for somebody, it's Your heart really goes out to folks, you know, but then at the same time, if you, if you, um, introspect, oh, it's all heartache, right? Well, he's, he's in a nine of swords over this main female. She's, um, yeah, he, he's, he's suffering a heart, a divorce, a heartbreak. There was a divorce. She left him and she's getting married to somebody else. They're celebrating domestic harmony and they're making plans for the future. He could be in bad health now. He's um, challenged because this is a this new union is a high honor union. It's not this sneaky shit. You carry my bag of shit for me so I can go be you, <laughs> right? Now this new union is a high honor union. It's a happy union. Harmonious. Harmonious, even. So, yeah, there is this, these lovers here. This main female could be um, expecting. something to happen like maybe um like maybe this is all happening like behind scenes in the spirit and it has yet to manifest in the 3d but maybe the 3d feminine is aware and maybe she's got this expectation of this upcoming union yeah because she's looking right at it 
there she could have had premonitions about it. There, this marriage could have already happened in the spirit. That's what the cards say. This this union has already occurred, and now it's just um, waiting to manifest in the three D. And it looks like he's on his way. Or that he's here already, sword, sword raised, you know. There it is. All right. Oh. This Knight of Swords is here. He's fast thinking. He's action oriented. He's brave. He's driven to succeed. And he's coming to defend his beliefs. His intention is to move on. But this relationship is ending. He doesn't get to go on a journey with her. Wherever she's going, he doesn't get to go. There's a transition. The relationship ends. You're releasing the baggage, main female. Something about a wealthy man. This one thought he would become a wealthy man. His expectation was to come in, defend his beliefs. And move on to calmer waters by releasing the baggage like by, but it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen. He doesn't get to go on the journey. He, he does he doesn't well there's a wealthy man here now he might have thought he was going to be a wealthy man that was his intention and expectation was that he was going to be able to mend this um, but it didn't it didn't work out that way there's there's a there's already another union and this brings a tower to that entire that entire experience that this one was having while um, connected to this main female. Um, everything that they had enjoyed while being connected to this main female is now in a tower. There could be a child who gets unexpected income. Or maybe this new beginning. Maybe um, there's a child who gets whatever this one loses. Maybe there's a child who benefits from this tower. Somebody's in a mental prison. They're restricted, feeling isolated. This is their um, 
destiny. And there is um, a marriage. The fact that this main female is married to somebody else and moving into this house has, and this person here is there, they're having negative thoughts. They're, they're in a really bad way and they're isolated. They, um, they thought that they were going to get this house. They thought that they were going to be able to be with this main female, but she dropped out, tagged out and went, uh, went another direction. And now they don't have any direction because they got this bad news. They're unstable now. She was the stability. And now she's, she's, she's with somebody else. Or maybe he's going to try to find somebody else to help him balance this shit out. That's what he's going to do. Because this main female is married to somebody else. So he's looking to get a courtship. He's got a lack of direction. This main female was his foundation. She held all that shit together. And now he's looking to go find somebody else. Who will carry his big bag of shit for him. Who will make his instability stable. He needs to go attached to a feminine. Or somebody with the nurturing qualities to hold that shit together. To help him balance it. Because he's not capable. He, he's not capable of balancing his own shit. There is sudden wealth here. There, there was a hope that they would be able to get sudden wealth or he's targeting somebody else in the hope that they will have sudden wealth. That's what it's happening. See, he thought he was going to get sudden wealth with this main female. He was going to get this house. He was going to go on a journey. Get the top side of the wheel of fortune, but he didn't get that. So now he, he's in a tower. So now he's got to go. He's got to go find somebody else to court. Somebody else who's wealthy, either spiritually or um, financially. I think mostly spiritually because he needs somebody to balance his um, his nightmare, and only as you know, you can't you can't balance a nightmare with with cash flow. You just can't. So anyway, there is the seven of wands and the ten of wands in the upright. So this is a challenge. This is competition, you know. This is the competition that he's been living his life in. And now he's got to maintain control while he's carrying this ten of wands, this burden. And he's going to he's going to try to find a woman to carry it for him. Somebody who's wealthy in spirit. Probably in material items, too. If she's wealthy in spirit, maybe she has material. Maybe she's got a home and stuff, and he can. Distant horizons. On the distant horizons, yeah, he's going to be in conflict, and he's going to be carrying a ten of wands on the distant horizons. There's a community. There's a whole community here. With a um, ten of swords in the back. Because the privileged lady got the, got the fortune. And now, and now they're in bad health over all the work they did.
all this change over again. I'm beginning to wonder if it just isn't time to stop reading these for a while as things clear out, you know. It really is kind of sad. Whatever they did, they, it was a failure. I'm just going to leave this one here because that's pretty plain. I'm going to leave this one here and I'll see you on the next one.